Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the women's strawweight bout between Livina Souza or Livina Renata Souza. I don't know, just call her Livina Souza at this point, but yeah, Livina Souza versus Random Marcos. And how I see this one right here is um, I'm going to go with Livina Souza in this one. I feel like um, Marcos does have probably better wins, has fought better competition, but Souza ain't that far behind. Her record is much better, but I don't know. I'm getting too much into the records. And I really come down, I think it comes down to style of the matchup. Brandon Marcos got like an overhand and she goes for takedowns. Souza is a high, like a high level black belt in BJJ. And her wrestling on the other side is not, it's not bad in wrestling eyes. So I feel like she can keep the spot on the feet. And I feel like she's the more fleshed out striker. Rock, Marcos overhand can be devastating. Well, I'm not going to say devastating. That'd be a joke. Can be a factor at times. Definitely be the, her, her pressure. In her, um, yeah, pretty much her pressure and her takedowns will, can be a problem for anyone, especially in the division when you're not fighting the best competition. And I'm not saying Souza's not the best competition, but she's definitely not going to be the woman that's going to just so easily put her away. So I think this is a very highly competitive fight going to the decision. I think the fact that Souza is a high level black belt BJJ practitioner, the fact that Marcos really, in all her fights, needs to take it to the ground, win or lose, she has to take it to the ground. That's just even against um, Mackenzie Dern, she took Mackenzie Dern to the ground or and then McKenzie Dern took advantage of that. So it's like, in every single fight, Marcos, I think every single McKenzie, I mean, Marcos fight has went to the ground. So that's, it's going to be a case when it goes to the ground, but I think the fact that Sosa is going to have, you know, she has solid wrestling of her own to, you know, be able to negate Marcos or even go for her own takedowns. And on the ground, I think she, she has the ability, the other ability to, to submit her opponent, whereas Marcos, really her best attempt is maybe catch you and knock you out. I mean, I think the only person she ever hurt was Angela Hill. She caught her. And he'll beat Souza in the past. We not don't know MMA math with this one, but yeah, outside that, Marcos, I don't think she really ever been consistent at really hurting. She did submit a couple people on the house, but um, overall, she hasn't been a great submission threat. She's not a great knockout threat. She's a decision fighter that's looking to lay on you. And I think Souza, like I said, can threaten with submission, not make it easy for her. score takedowns on Marcos. And I think she's the more fleshed out fighter, and also has you know she's coming off a brutal knockout loss. I feel like she has the better momentum. Marcos coming here is 10, 11, and one, so a negative record. Everybody knows what she's coming to bring. She's going to, she's going to bring pace, I mean, pace and pressure. That's what she's going to bring it and, and take down and going in with the black belt. The black belt will be better on the ground and also will be able to, you know, compete with her in the wrestling department. So I feel like that's going to allow Souza to get the, the decision victory, like being more active on the ground, stepping some takedowns, landing more shots, being a more like fleshed out striker, having more tools, like I said, threatening with submissions and being in control positions better and being able to eke out a decision victory over Marcos. So in this fight, I have Levina Souza via decision.